Hey, we're here at the Oakley. Uh, what is this? Is the Oakley? It's called the Rolling O Lab. The Rolling O Lab. I love it. This thing is awesome. And I'm with Sean. And uh, Sean, you are uh, one of our, I guess, one of the development guys, right? Or yep, I work in R and D. R and D. Yep, for Oakley, and uh, I'm on the road. 300 days a year traveling with the OLAB, taking the truck and trailer to events all across the western half of the U.S. We have one that's identical on the East Coast, um, and we go to any sporting event or conference or anything like that that opens the ball through. That's awesome. This is an awesome, uh, an awesome, the OLAB is, is amazing. And uh, just, I, I ran out of batteries just before we got a little bit in, but you were showing me how the uh, rounded sunglasses produce two dots right. on the end of the wall. Can you can we do that one more time real sure, quick? Just absolutely. To, because uh, if you look down here at the very end, you can see there's one dot down there, but because of the curvature and a lot of sunglasses, we're gonna show you put it on right now. They basically do that to your eyes. Causing a prismatic effect due to the curvature of the lenses. So at Oakley, we obviously have lenses that have curves the same size if not bigger than a lot of the other competitors out there. Right. But we have technology in our lenses that we've developed in-house in our R&D lab that, you know, that make it so that our lenses almost seem like they're flat so light can travel straight through it and not have a negative effect on your eyes. What we do is the optical center of the lens, the sweet spot if you will, where your eye is kind of naturally going to sit behind it. Right. It's actually thicker material. And then we use corrective tapering and we thin it out getting closer and closer to the frame. So what that means is that the optical center is more dense. Density draws more natural light to it. So in turn, when I put these on the head form, you can see that we still only have one point that way. That's awesome. Obviously not everybody's eyes are the same distance or anything like that. So if I hold the glasses out in front of the head form and I move them all around, you can see that the light is staying centered. It doesn't, right, it doesn't change. Yeah, stay centered, stays focused. That is really cool. So, XYZ optics, that's how we correct for the curvature of the lens. Right. That's one of our patents. So, that's the first test. Second test. Has to do with lens materials, what the lenses are actually manufactured out of. Right. You have a lot of different uh, lens materials on the market. Uh, the ones that we're going to show you and talk about here. The first one is glass. You know, glass lenses. A lot of companies believe that that's the way to go in terms of optics, in right. terms of clarity and definition. But glass doesn't meet minimal requirements when it's clear in terms of UV protection. So they need to add something to it. And what they do is they add a layer or a laminate to it with a glue or an adhesive. They just sandwich construction on there. So now you're looking through the glass, you're looking through the glue, and you're looking through the layer on top of it to make the UV protection. So if you keep your eye now on this target up on the screen, right. you can see that's clear. Once I put these glasses on, Whoa. that's more light to the screen. You can see how blurry that is. Whoa. So that's Man. glass lens. <laughs> that's a huge difference. Yeah, absolutely. God, no wonder I'm half blind. <laughs> All right, so the next, talk about a material called CR39. Right. It's an optical grade plastic. Right. It's inexpensive. You can buy it in mass quantities. It's the most common lens material in the sunglass industry due to the fact that it's inexpensive and really easy to work with. Right. But with, with CR39, you got to remember it's just plastic. So you're really just paying for the name brand because in terms of quality and definition, oh, man. it's still becoming pretty blurry. Yeah, that's really blurry. All right. And then you start talking about polycarbonates. Polycarbonates are a tricky material to work with. It's really sensitive to heat and pressure, uh, which you know is necessary for manufacturing lenses. Right. And then also, it's you know you can buy cheap, you can buy expensive. There's different levels or different qualities polycarbonates out there. So I'll show you a couple, a couple examples. Is this going to be on the uh, wall yeah. again over here? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Wow. Oh man, my eyes hurt just looking at that. Boy, not much, not much. So now we'll talk about. We are using a polycarbonate. 
just the same as the other two, not the same quality. It's, not, but it's, not, it's the highest optical grade polycarbonate in the sunglass industry. We own the rights to it. Right. Call it glutenite. But with our manufacturing process and how we put it all together, we still achieve high, a higher level of optics than other companies out there. So I'll add light to it again. Wow, that's, that's perfect. That's what talking about with our lens material. That is perfect. So it's quite a bit different. God, I didn't realize that uh, sunglasses were such a science. I mean, that's, that's what Oak is all about. It's kind of the science behind the product. Right. You know, sunglasses originally was designed as protection. Protection from the sun. Right. As well as protection from any debris or wind or anything coming at your face. Right. It's kind of gotten more into fashion, which we understand. But we want to produce sunglasses that are more technically sound, that have more performance-driven qualities behind it, that are achieving certain you know, optical standards and qualities. Right. At the same time, having that fashion piece in mind and making glasses that still look as good as any of the other ones out there. Man, that is, uh, that's awesome. So then we'll go down here and I'll show you the impact side. Okay. The durability side of Oakley. Just when you thought it couldn't get any better, it gets better. All right, our first test, this machine right here, it's a high velocity test. So we're talking about a small object traveling at a high speed. Right. So what it does is it shoots out a quarter inch steel ball bearing at 150 feet per second, which is roughly 102 miles an hour, eight <laughs> inches away from the head form. So we just have these generic glasses with a temperature and hard coated glass lens, so we're replicating any company out there using glass lenses. Right, okay. Their sunglasses. Wow. Alright, three, two, one. Ouch. So that's glass, glass shatters. It's not really a surprise when you think about it. Well, we're showcasing that because there's a lot of companies out there that still use glass. But like I said, for a company that's performance driven, why would you ever put, in our eyes, why, in our minds, why would you ever put something in front of your eyes that has potential to shatter? Shatter, crack, yeah. Right? That could, you know, cause serious damage to your eyes or your face. Permanent or blindness. Alright, so then put, put on a pair of Oakleys with our Plutonite lenses. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right, three, two, one. Whew. Wow. Buff that out. Good as new. That is amazing. Okay, so for impact testing, that's kind of the easier of the two tests. This one's a hard test. This is our high mass. So now we're talking about a heavier object. This is 500 grams, just over a pound, right. traveling at a distance of four feet. This one, same generic frame, and now we have a CR39 lens, optical grade plastic. So plastic is obviously more durable than glass. I mean, I can right. flex it and bend it. So glass would obviously shatter in here. Well, I, I believe you. All right. So three, two, one. So blunt, direct impact, it shatters just like it was glass. Now we put on our Oakley, same pair we just shot in there. All right, three, two, one. So we're not saying the lens isn't gonna be ruined, but it didn't crack. Didn't wow. break, Nothing. didn't eject from the frame. Nothing. The frame itself also didn't crack or break. Those are the those are the um, categories for, te for passing this test. So it also can't be pushed back far enough on the back side that if I was wearing these, that it would be touching my eye or the soft tissue surrounding my eye. So our impact standards are higher than a lot of sunglass companies out there. We're not a safety glass company, but we test just as high, if not higher, than a lot of safety glass companies out there. Right. Uh, overall, just kind of putting together a more well-rounded, performance-driven product has the highest optics in the industry in terms of clarity, definition, technology behind it. Uh, upwards of 70 different lens options to date, so you come up with a light condition and an activity. We're going to have a, a, a lens that's pretty optimal for right. that condition. And then, you know, we add the addition of having the most durable lenses out there. If somebody wants to get a pair of Oakleys, they go online? Or uh, 
they either find a local dealer local in their dealer, area, right? or they go to oakley.com and Oakley see com. all the products that we have available. Sean, that is totally awesome. Thank you so much yep, for the uh, demo. Thank you. Man, that is so cool. Thank you very much. Of course.